So let's go ahead and clone up the outside first here. And then we're going to go with a Royal Champion and then a Healer. And then we're going to go with some Balloons. So we'll clone up two Loons here. We're going to go and rage this up. Let's go and distract some of these defenses up top. Today is sneak peek number two, and it's going to cover the quality of life changes coming in the next Town Hall 14 update. But also stay tuned to the end of the video where we're going to try out a new attack strategy involving the clone spell and healers. Yes, cloning your healers for the Royal Champion. But if you enjoyed these videos, make sure you guys subscribe. Click that button down below because over half of you that watch these videos aren't subscribed. And you definitely do not want to miss sneak peeks coming soon for Town Hall 14 because it's going to be a lot of fun. Stay tuned. Let's go ahead and find out what's coming next. We have the Town Hall 14 right here, but the quality of life changes that are coming is mainly actually going to be affecting all the lower accounts. All the ones from 2 through 6, 7, 8, 9. As you get closer to Town Hall 13, less of these are going to affect your Town Hall. So it really affects the ones super low to try to help progress up. So the first quality of life change is going to be revolving around the starter challenges. Starting at Town Hall 2, you get what's called a starter challenges. That's where you're able to unlock these at Town Hall 2. And you're going to move your way through this. You don't pay anything. This is completely free. And when you complete these challenges, they're going to go up and you're going to be able to unlock gold, elixir, gems. And you can see in every town hall, you're going to be able to unlock more and more. So eventually when you get to the end, that's when town hall six can eventually unlock, like say a book of building. So it's going to help you progress a little bit quicker. As you get to town hall three, you're able to complete even more and more challenges here. And we're going all the way through. So each and every town hall is going to have more, right? So this is going to be wanting to upgrade to level uh, town hall level four. So you can't get to these next challenges until you actually go to town hall four. And you can see to town hall three, looks like we get up to the 500,000 gold. At town hall four, we're able to continue to unlock these challenges. We still have to get to town hall five to really get higher up. So there's two research potions. There's a million gold, a million elixir, a builder potion that you can get at town hall four. And you're actually almost there. So it looks like just our Town Hall 6 or Town Hall 5, you can actually maybe get that book of building. Town Hall level 5, you're able to unlock all of the challenges. And it's still going when you're at Town Hall 6. So even if you haven't completed all of them, there will be even more challenges to complete. So challenges, for example, like upgrade to Archer Towers level 4, research to upgrades in your laboratory. All these challenges you'll be able to do as a kind of starter challenge is really help your lower town halls out. Then once you upgrade to town hall seven, all of those rewards will automatically be collected if you didn't collect them. So for example, some of them will get converted into gems if you can't hold anymore. 250 gems plus all of that elixir and gold right there. The next change is regarding the recruitment tool. If you go to your profile and you go to clan invites, you can actually turn invites on or you can be receive invites and be suggested. So when people are looking or clanmates, and you will come up in the suggestion. Otherwise, you can turn that off. You can have just receive invites so people can send it, or you can have no invites at all. But if you are a clan leader, what you can do is go to find members, and there's a little pop-up here that helps you a little bit. And you can also go into your settings and the language, and it can filter by the language that you are in. So it can really help you out and try to get the person that speaks your language to join your clan. Following the recruitment tool, a lot of the changes are regarding the lower town hall and the upgrade times. I'll include a lot of the stuff on the screen right here, but it, it's in regards to wall cost reduction, reduced, reduced training times for Ice Golem Witch, Super Witches, low and mid town hall level cost reductions. A lot of this stuff, you should definitely pause it, read it, or read all the notes that are gonna get posted by a Supercell, Darian, in the forums you definitely want to read that because it's going to have a lot more information broken down because it's just regarding just the lower town halls like town hall one through town hall eight in terms of several cost timer reduction for new players new achievements that actually come into play to help you if you're trying to upgrade and get maybe a little bit more gems which is just kind of nice and then there's gameplay which is boost on the heroes and buildings no longer are canceled when upgrades started so in terms of that like when you're upgrading your laboratory that also is when you're upgrading it, you can still see your troops and little nice things like that. So as you see all these different things that are on it with the UI changes, and one of the UI changes here is definitely with the king. So if you take a look at the king here, he definitely looks a little bit, uh, a little updated like that. You can see his, uh, what he looks like. But yeah, there's the barbarian king. His 
uh, UI got changed a little bit in terms of how he looks, but also there's season challenge changes. So there's so much on here. And then there's also a little nice thing is for iOS. So if you're using like an iPad Pro or something, you can go into the settings, more settings, and then there's gonna be a higher frame rate right here. This is on the game will run at 120 frames per second and use more power. If it's off, the game will run at 60 frames per second and use less power. So you can turn that on and off if you do have an iPad Pro. I do, I'm currently playing on it. So it does pop up for, for me. But yeah, there's probably, there's definitely a lot more stuff. Hopefully you guys uh, checked out the kind of quality of life changes. Oh, uh, but you, let me know what your guys' thoughts on all these changes this is definitely gonna help you guys out because a lot of you guys probably aren't even Town Hall 13 yet and you're still excited, all right? But I mean, maybe the Clan Castle thing is a little bit uh, not too fun, but it definitely gonna help keep the balance in the game. Let's go ahead and use the clone spell to clone up a healer. Well, we're gonna do it on this attack and we're actually gonna clone up one healer. We've got the super wizards smash with yetis. We've got the yetis inside of a CC, which is gonna go for the town hall. But take a look at this. You can use a clone to clone up a healer and then you get two more, you can drop a balloon and have two balloons come out of here. So watch this. So let's go ahead and clone up the outside first here. And then we're gonna go with a royal champion and then a healer. And then we're going to go with some balloons. So we'll clone up two loons here. We're going to go and rage this up. Let's go and distract some of these defenses up top. Now the goal is to get this royal champion to help take out this section. Go for the king. And let's see if we can actually drop the invis here perfectly. Now we're on to the king. Balloon is going in. Royal champ's going up and around. We'll drop the king here. We're going to try to loop everything through. So did we pull out the CC? We did. We pulled out some super minions. Let's go and drop you. We're going to have to drop a lightning onto the headhunter there because it is absolutely devastating. Royal Champ is going through. We're going to have to burn her ability. Skips across there. And now let's go and drop some healers here. And let's get drop a Yeti or Ice Golem, some Yetis, the Grand Warden, the Queen, and the Witches up top, and then healers, and then some Balloons. All right, so we're going to push our way with some Super Wizards up there. So the Blimp is going to go for that Town Hall. We do have another Invis, which we could have used it on the Royal Champ, but the whole thing was... The Royal Champ took out that section. That's what we wanted. So now the Blimp's going in. Let's see where this Queen's going. All right, so she's actually going in toward the Town Hall as well. And we're going to actually go and burn the Warden Internal Tome to protect all that. And let's see if we can get our way through. Let's go and drop a Balloon up here. We can drop a Super Wall Breaker to try to break our way in towards this section. Queen, let's take the Jump Queen and let's go to that over there. And we already burned the Warden Internal Tome. King's ability is going to go off. And the Queen's ability is going to go like that. Bam. All right, so now what do we have? Let's go and freeze up the scatter. Queen's making her way around this back section here. And we can actually make the queen invisible. She takes the jump. Oh, giant bomb, unfortunately. Small bomb, unfortunately. The queen is still hanging on. And look at this. The queen clears a bunch of that value, even though she was supposed to go maybe around. And we do have a super wall break. I guess we can break on the outside right there. Dropping archers in the corner. But look at that. The royal champion helped grab that left section Cloning up healers. Who would have thought? We still have a minute left in this raid that I maybe should even use the invisibility spell again on the royal champion to keep her going. But then, but yeah, who would have thought you can clone up the healer to get two more? So now it becomes three healer charge, rage it up, and then two balloons pop up. But the one thing is, if you do find a seeking air mine, you can drop another healer, right? If the seeking air mine pops up. But look at this with 35 seconds left. We got this one. The king's still alive here. We moved our way around. The biggest thing you do have to worry about is time, right? They definitely time fail on this. But if your royal champion gets picked off early, all that value is gone. But pros? Who knows? Will they do something like this? We'll have to find out. We're going in another base with the cloned up healers. Let's drop the clone spell here on the outside. Boom. Rage or rage. Uh, there's the royal champ. Let's do the healers. And then the balloons. One second. And balloons like that. They're going to go up front. We're going to rage you up through here. Just like that. Let's drop a super whiz behind here. Royal Champ's going to be taking out the eagle. And she's going to go right. Okay, that's good. Boom. And then she's going this way. Let's see what kind of value she can get. We can drop a headhunter. Maybe try to help take out the defending RC. And let's go like this. We're working on it. And we're going to burn the warden ability. Drop the queen. And the RC is dead okay we got her okay that's good there we go drop a healer let's drop some yetis here a super wizard all right we're going like this we can drop an ice golem we can drop a king 
to drop witches. More healers into here. Super wizards. Get the yetis through. They're going in. Drop some balloons. And then a super wall. Okay. Goes for this wall. Why? Why that wall? Go for that one. Okay, there we go. We got that wall going. Drop a blimp to go across the base. All right. Let's try to keep as much of this alive. Boom. Popped. Oh, no. We didn't pop the blimp. Let's drop you. I'm going to drop the poison spell for you. Rage that up. The blimp does not make it. Things going up and around. All right. Guys. The blimp didn't make it. Can we still can we still do this? We got our way to the middle. I'm going to raise up the town hall here. Queen. Take the jump or do something. All right. We're taking care of the king. We're making our way towards the town hall. I'm going to make you invisible here. Queen's got ability. King's still moving. And the queen, what are you doing? Turn the queen ability here onto the town hall. I do have some archers that I could drop to go for that, that sword. Okay, the queen. Okay, got the town hall. Messed up on the blimp. Let's drop another archer here. We got one lightning. Queen is in the wall, but even with that messed up blimp? Oh my goodness, look at that. I missed the warden ability. I've got a lightning spell, which probably will drop on the multi. But shows you the strength. That I was still able to get this one here. The Royal Champion going that way. If anything is to tell you how strong it is. This is right here. Let's go and drop a lightning onto the Builder Hut. And multi to take that down. Oh, maybe if I saved it a little bit. The Skellies. But the Queen gets healed back up on the, from these healers here. Oh, the Gold Storage. Is it enough? My Queen's barely hanging alive. Oh, it's an open wall. Okay. No, but there's a ground Skelly. But the Queen. Why are you going for the wall, Queen? Don't go for the wall. Oh, my goodness. What are you doing? Queen, walk around. But either way, I still get it. Um, with the failed blimp, but that royal champ got so much value with the cloned healers. Wow, that is some incredible stuff. But if you guys are enjoying these videos, sneak peeks, make sure to let me know. Always click that subscribe button and turn that bell on so you don't miss any future videos about Town Hall 14, hopefully coming very soon. But anyways, hopefully you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys next time.